guys. Today I'm going to be talking about which is better, sponge filter or hang on the back filters. Now, a sponge, before this video starts, sponge filters, if you don't know what they look like, imagine a sponge in a fish tank, some plastic on the bottom, some plastic on the top, and the top is spitting out air bubbles. That's basically what a sponge filter looks like. If you want to get a better look at them, you can Google pictures of sponge filters on the internet. Uh, so right here, this is currently a hang on the back filter, so that's what a hang on the back filter looks like. Um, now first I'm going to be talking about sponge filters cons. Now sponge filter cons. First one I'm going to be going over is, that in my, in my opinion and many other opinions, they do look uglier. Now you might not believe this, but uh, a lot of people on the internet do believe this. They do... They just kind of, they take up more space than the average hang on the back filter, and that space isn't on the back or somewhere sleek like a hang on the back filter. As you can see, this hang on the back filter kind of blends in with the background. Sponge filters, you could uh, put them, you could put them by decorations and kind of hide them with decorations, but then you're not picking up as much debris because the plants and your decorations are blocking that sponge filter from actually working. Another con, this is kind of a con, kind of not a con, depends on which sponge filter you buy. Some of them are very fine and cannot pick up big waste and big uneaten food particles. Um, but some of them, like the Aquarium Co-op sponge filter, um, the Aquarium Co-op YouTube channel in the video about sponge filters actually said that their sponge filter is, it has bigger holes, which makes it better for picking up bigger debris, which is a bonus. Um, also, another thing about sponge filters is, this is a pro, they're way cheaper than uh, hang on the back filters. Uh, this depends on what tank size you have, but usually, I'm going to say the average hang on the back filter is over $20. Uh, even a 10 gallon tank, even my 10 gallon fish tank hang on the back filter was over $20. Something like, I, I don't really remember that well, but I think it was like $25, $30, maybe something like that. Um, and a sponge filter you can find on the Aquarium Co-op website for 5 to $10. So, yep, price, that's definitely a huge benefit. Um, the next thing I will be talking about sponge filters is they do, they're great for baby fish. Uh, of course, baby fish can get sucked up by those holes in the hang on the back filter. Now, with sponge filters, that's not a problem because babies can't fit in the holes. So, also, it depends on which sponge filter you're getting, but a lot of them on the market, babies cannot fit through. Uh, so, if you're breeding and you don't want to, and you don't want to just have to do water changes with a cup or something like that, um, you know, when I when I had my baby fish, I had them in a little critter keeper, and the critter keeper was so small you couldn't fit a sponge filter in it. But let's just say that critter keeper was big enough to fit a sponge filter. I had to do cup water changes on that tank every day. If you had a sponge filter, that would not be a problem. Uh, but it, anyways, guys, now I'm going to be talking about hang on the back filters. Hang on the back filters, pros. They're, I know I talked about this a little earlier with the sponge filters, but these things are way sleeker in the back and they camouflage in a lot better. Another good thing about them is they do create some waves and sponge filters create, they spit air bubbles out of the top. But um, hang on the backs really have, I, I feel like hang on the backs circulate the water much more than a sponge filter would. Another good thing about hang on the back, uh, another good thing about hang on the back filters is when you clean them, you, ha it's not, you have to take apart the uh, filter a little bit, but with hang on the back filters, you have to take out the sponge, the air stone. Uh, so cl I would say cleaning a uh, hang on the back is a little easier. Um, but one negative thing about the hang on the back filters is you have to buy filter pads for them. Um, for sponge filters, you just have to rinse out the sponge and um, squeeze all that debris water out. So the next thing, a positive about cleaning hang on the back filters is you lift them out uh, with sponge filters. Um, credit, uh, thanks to the aquarium co-op video for teaching me. To, when you're cleaning a sponge filter, you have to put something like a fish tank bag or a Ziploc bag under it and then pull it up very gently so that all that debris in the sponge filter doesn't come out of the sponge filter and make your water dirty. When hang on the back filters, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. 
Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. This was just talking about these two types of filters. If you're in the market for any of these filters, hopefully this video could help you. And 